Hi, this is Katrina Sargent, or Double Doll Custom Creations. We're going to be doing a basic glitter pin epoxy tutorial. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you are returning, welcome back. This is a basic tutorial. More advanced tutorials are going to be coming soon. They all start out the same way. You're going to need a Paper Mate Ink Joy pen to start. You're going to want to remove the little tab. You can use the pliers or you can use your fingers. You just twist it off. Once you have the tab off, I take a craft knife and cut that little extra piece off. Then you're going to remove all the pieces of the pin. Put those in a safe place. You will need those for later. Once that is done, you're going to then sand your pin fully, just like you would do a tumbler. I had a bunch of number two pencils. They worked perfect. They fit nice and snug down into the pin. You can use a dowel rod if you would like. I spray paint my pens exactly like I would do my tumblers, the base color of my glitter. Then you're going to take the smallest amount of epoxy and do the thinnest coat you possibly can to get your glitter to stick. I had five mls total, so 2.5 of each part, and I epoxied over six pens, and I had four milliliters left over. That's how thin of a coat I do. I had this old wire basket <laughs> for cans in my cupboard, so I thought it would be perfect. I've seen people put egg cartons, put holes in it to hold your pencils up. You can figure out what works for you. And then you're just gonna glitter exactly like you would a tumbler. Make sure everything is coated and make sure nothing is wet looking. If it is, just keep adding glitter until it is no longer wet. I like doing a black base for my color shift glitters, but you can do um, a base color closer to your glitter. I probably should have done a teal paint with this, but it did turn out really pretty at the end, but it would have popped more with a lighter color underneath. Then once you're done glittering, you're gonna take a piece of wax paper and you're gonna kinda of lay your chunky glitters flat. You can roll it in the wax paper, but do not smudge it or you will move your glitter and you will see your paint. You just want to lay that chunky glitter flat. This is gonna help you in the long run to do less coats so it's not super thick. Once it is dry, then I add my first coat of epoxy. It is easier to have it off the turners and kind of apply it and then add it to your arm. I will be honest, I did purchase something later. You'll see later in the video, it made life easier. But I had this like star pool noodle for some of my attachments and they kind of fit in there perfectly also. Also, you can do rubber bands instead of tape. It kind of helps, you don't have to stop your turner every time you are adding it. Be careful when you're epoxying, don't epoxy over the edge to your pencil because you can epoxy the pencil inside the pen. Yes, I did it. Don't do what I did. So now I am ready to sand. I did two coats of epoxy before I've sanded. So I did get a, some over the edge that I'm going to use my craft knife to cut out. I only wet sand. I am allergic to epoxy, so I have to wet sand or I'll have a reaction. So I just have a little container of water with a little bit of soap in it. It helps me when I'm not at my sink. So I'm just gonna do a basic sand to get it as level as possible before I vinyl it, and then to do the final coat of epoxy. And then I just take my craft knife and kind of scrape out any epoxy or pencil that could have been stuck in there. 
you're not cutting into it because you can destroy the inside of the pin. But I'm kind of like scratching at it in a way to get it to come up. Also the top and bottom edges. I'll show you a, a trick here in a second. So I found if you lay your sandpaper on the ground and kind of rub along the top edge and bottom edge and then kind of out of an angle, it's the best way to get the best sand. So you're not cutting into the plastic of the pin at all and you're not gonna destroy your glitter or your epoxy on that edge. So I almost always reverse weed on small vinyl cuts. This is a metallic, so it's even more of a pain in the butt. But how you reverse weed is you add your transfer onto the vinyl and then weed it off of there. You can even put it on your surface and then weed it off of there also. You need to choose which direction you want your name. Some people like their name going bottom up or top to bottom. It is a personal preference. I did one of each. I found the size of name needs to be under four inches in length and under half of an inch wide. The fonts that are kind of the longs, you see this one is, had those pieces that go out each side. It kind of extends the name when it's a short name. I will have everything linked in the description, including the font I used. When I reverse weed, I kind of just get the majority of the vinyl off so I know where I'm laying my vinyl. And then all the little details inside the loops of things I weed out once it's on the object. Here is what I purchased. It has been a lifesaver. I will link it in the description. Once I have my vinyl on my pins, I then do CC DIY quick coat and then let it dry before I epoxy. This is gonna help it give a glass like finish or hopefully only one more coat of epoxy. And with this new flower like insert i was able to do epoxy on each pen with it turning versus having it individually and then adding it as you go if it was completely full i wouldn't be able to do this but i only had three to do it this time i use cc diy artist resin and it can handle a lot more heat than some epoxies so i can hit it with my heat gun to get the epoxy moving and then hit it with my torch to pop micro bubbles Here's a few finished. They turned out gorgeous. They are super sparkly. They're not super thick, beautiful. I hope you really liked this tutorial and keep an eye out for more advanced tutorials in the future with these pins. Please like, share, subscribe. It really means a lot to me. And I have a Facebook group, facebook.com, Devil Doll Community. Come join. Talk to me, ask questions, show your work off.